Roberts just knocking it across there towards Miller. Gives it back to him. I don't think that was the greatest idea. Should get it away. Well, he should. But they've got into a tangle. The goalkeeper and the fullback and Frickley have opened the scoring. And I'll tell you what, Brad Grayson can't quite believe his luck. Look at this back pass. Disastrous stuff from a workshop point of view. It's Roberts just trying to push it back towards Zicardi. Zicardi really should have stayed on his line. He slips over at the crucial moment and Frickley can't quite believe their luck. They lead in front of the cop end at Hillsborough. It's Frickley 1, works up town nil. Zicardi just knocks this one long up towards McDonald, tries to flick that one on. It's a lucky break. It comes towards Jackson. Knocks it on now for Waller. Bit of space to work in. Jackson's continued his run. In the box, a great angle and a brilliant finish. What a strike that is from Jamie Jackson. And works up and right back in this contest. Ten minutes after falling behind to that disastrous mistake. They've managed to get themselves back on level terms. A super run from Jackson. Waller spotted his run. And the finish with the left foot was expertly done. What a finish that was. Dickinson didn't stand a chance of keeping that one out. It's now works up one. Frickley Athletic one. That's a foul. Nothing you can really argue with that. Just knocking him off his stride. And there's going to be a free kick here for Frickley Athletic. Just in from the touchline. So Ashmore just standing over this one to take the free kick. Be right footed. Just wait for some movement inside the penalty area. Gets the signal now, in it goes. Amy for Nione, he breaks towards the man alone from Sheffield Wednesday and he hammers it into the roof of the net. A fine finish from the midfielder, lovely ball in there. A lucky break perhaps for Nione, but the finish was superbly put away. Zaccardi stood no chance whatsoever in terms of keeping that one out. And all of a sudden Frickley back ahead for the second time in this game. 34 minutes gone, it's Frickley Athletic 2, works up 1. Well, just knocked down the line there. Trolled well. Warlow just uh, rolls this one inside there towards Jackson. Spreading the play out towards the right-hand side. It's now with King. King just knocks it on in towards Jackson, who continued his run. Pulls it across towards uh, Young. It's going to be cleared away, though, by uh, Frickley. Just uh, hoofing it anywhere will do, really. Just onto this right touch line. Kept in play there well by the fullback Shields. Still, it's with Works up Town, keeping the pressure on this Frickly rear guard. Just touched on there by Young, comes back out towards Warlow, hits one! Oh, what a strike that is! The midfielder's got a cracking left foot, and he's just shown us how good it is. Just before half-time, they've got themselves back in this contest for the second time. Warlow linking it really well on the edge of the area with Jackson, and the finish, well, it was great again. That's probably the best of the lot so far. And it's works up town who will go in at the halftime interval. Probably feeling more confident now of getting the result. Who goes back towards Young. Tries to get the cross in, but it's going to be cleared away by Frickley. They look to complete the clearance here. That's not a good ball, actually. It's going to go out of play unless uh, they're very lucky. I thought that was always bouncing too high. But it will be a throw in at full works up in front of the north stands. It's taken quickly in towards uh, Jackson. Jackson works it back towards Young on the left hand side now with Warlow back in towards Jackson he's got his second of the game and works up for the first time in the match have taken the lead and what a time to get it just two minutes after the restart having been of course behind twice in this game they've now managed to get themselves in a winning position can they hang on to it great play on the left hand side again good quality from Warlow and the ball in towards the striker well, it was really just what you want, isn't it, as a centre forward? He couldn't miss, and he didn't miss. And as I say, for the first time, Worksop are leading in this Senior Challenge Cup final by three goals to two.